Mason is a very active young boy. He always loves being outside and playing. Mason wound up having a fever, so I brought him to the pediatrician's office. I told them that I wanted blood work to be drawn, and then they called me the next morning and told me to bring him to the emergency room. I said, what were the results of the blood? And I'm a nurse, so they read them to me, and I thought, oh my God, are you telling me my son has leukemia? I'll never forget, like, just walking out of that hospital, sitting on a curb, there was no one around, and I just lost it. He couldn't do anything that a normal kid was able to do. There were no birthday parties, there were no holidays, there was none of that. I just couldn't go, like, outside and stuff, and, um, I couldn't be near anyone, so I just stayed in here. I'm a fireman for the volunteer fire department here in Lindenhurst. Early on, Mason was coming home from the hospital and I got a phone call from one of the fellow firemen. He said, you gotta come to the firehouse. First thing I saw was a couple of my buddies have shaved their heads. They said, um, we're doing this for your son. They came with the fire trucks and the chiefs and the rescue company and we told Mason, you wanna be part of the company, you gotta shave your head. And uh, he didn't hesitate and his little buddy did it too. They did it together. The amount of things that he had to endure, it's amazing that he survived and beat it and became the child that he is today. I feel good today. It's my first year playing soccer, and I've been playing flag football for three years now. It's great to see him back out there, and he's doing great. He just gives it all, 100% all the time. You never think it's gonna happen to you. Every minute that LLS is raising money and trying to help find a cure, it's gonna help everybody. Okay. Everybody needs help at some point in their lives, you know, and you just want it to become contagious so that the world just becomes a better place.